Hi, it's Emma here from the Beauty Button. This evening I'm going to be taking you through two of my favourite products from the Guerlain Spring Summer range. Now Guerlain is my go-to range um, or brand when it comes to summer skincare and summer skin prepping. Um, they have pretty much got it bang on when it comes to sourcing the right tone for your, um, your sun-kissed skin look. Now, as you can probably tell, I'm pretty much albino, so when it really comes to making myself tan, but I have to be very, very careful about the kind of tones that I use on my skin. Now, obviously, when I'm bronzing my skin, I actually really pretty much don't touch any of kind of this bit of my skin. I really do just shade in here and here, put a bit on the temples, just so you've got that kind of highlighted bit along your top cheekbone, a bit maybe under the chin, a bit on the bridge of the nose, all those places that were really, really touch the, 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 the sun would actually hit when you're sunbathing which you shouldn't do that SPF by the way you'll make yourself there um, now the Guerlain ranges are fantastic for that I'm actually using already I know it's very kind of preemptive for the summer but I'm actually already using their beautiful terracotta they've added a few more colours to their range so I'm actually using all their bronzers at the moment which is really really nice it's one of the fairer ones um, and it's working really well for my pasty tasty skin. Um, but two of my favourite products, one is an eye and one is a, well it's a bronzer but it's an all over body bronzer so I'm going to hit that first. We have Guerlain Terra Inca. So put that in there. Now gorgeous standard Guerlain packaging. This is a powder for the face and body. So as we open the beautiful packaging what comes out is an absolutely stunning package. So it's wood, isn't it? It's kind of a wood packaging. And instead of instead of having that kind of click package that you normally do and it opens on a hinge, it's actually magnetic. So you literally pop it open, like a little bit of plastic falls out, and you've got a gorgeous, gorgeous, shimmery. Let's see it now, it's gonna hold it up. Gorgeous shimmery powder that's got the kind of pale bronze, dark bronze, and a little bit of extra added kind of tan tone in there to really set off your tan and then you've got a gorgeous palette um, for the actual mirror which is fantastic which is you know you can literally take that out and use it for the rest of your rest of your makeup now this I would use with a really really big blusher bronzer brush powder whatever now obviously I'm very pale at the moment so forgive me if this looks a bit bizarre but literally the aim of the game is to really just really just go for it on there you can either take it across your shoulder and put it on there and like down there or, which personally what I would do, is really use it, take that terracotta shade, shade in there so your cheekbones really stand out. You can see just in the light here, this bit here is where the shadow falls on my cheek. Your bronzer wants to sit in that, so you want to take a little bit of bronzer in there and then take this which is super, super shimmery and just dust it over. Take it from about here and dust it up. It acts as a highlighter and a bronzer all in one and really gives your skin a gorgeous, gorgeous golden glow. Amazing for the evening. And not too orange, which I'm really impressed with actually. And do you know what? It smells gorgeous. I'm sure they said jasmine was in it when I was at the press day the other day. See, it's just kind of shadowed that bit out. Really sets my newly blonde locks off quite well. Um, obviously, it's the end of the day, so I'm looking a little bit dishevelled. But you can see there, really gorgeous kind of shimmery tone. Just under there and there. Really sets it off. Obviously, the lighting's not in here. It's not amazing, but I've just popped a bit here, a bit there. So the highlighted bits of this kind of raised area here, which is obviously the top of your cheekbones, and then I'll, you know, just a little bit on the bridge of my nose. These are the bits that are going to get tanned in the end. Take it down there, brush it up, and then you've got that. So that's the face. Amazing, amazing product. Seriously. It would make an amazing gift because it's so beautifully packaged. It's kind of 3D on the front, 
a bit like braille, just there. See, so you've got the gold all just packaging there. Excuse my broken thumb. So that's that one. And then my other favourite is this fantastic product. Beautiful kind of lacquered pot with a little bit of ribbon on the front. If you pop it out, literally it pop out and wind it up. You have a very, very thick black crayon. Now this is perfect, the perfect thing for the smudgy, smoky eye. And it is the most amazing thing to carry in your handbag because you can literally whack it on, smudge it with your finger and you're good to go. So I'm just going to show you how easy it is. So you literally take it here, smudge it on the eye line of your eye and then use your finger and you've pretty much got the perfect evening look. So you see, I've just literally, really roughly done that, literally across the front, maybe slightly more accurately in the centre, but just rubbed it across. And this is before your mascara, by the way, because your mascara really, this in, by no means is a neat going out look. This is kind of a grungy, smoky eye. Because it's waxy, it really goes on a kind of shiny pastel Imagine you're like oil painting your eye and you can really smudge it over. You see I'm just pulling it from the centre there and then smudging it into the crease of my eye. And it's already looking kind of cool. So you've got that. I'm just going to keep doing that with my finger, pulling it down from the corner so you're not going too far up and not leaving the crease. And once you've done that, you've actually left quite a nice dense line down here anyway. What I'm going to do is just do that again. Just to build up that density. And intensity to that eye. So literally, it took me two seconds and I've already got, as you can tell, a bit of a smoky eye. Obviously, you can massively unt it up a little bit, but that's perfect for an evening for me. So I'll show you how quickly you can do it on the other eye as well. Literally scribble it on and then just pull it out again and literally pulling it across the eye. Just from the socket down so you're making sure you're not going too far over. This is the kind of thing I want in my beach bag. The thing that I can literally take it out, whack it on, and then I'm good to go in the evening. And the most amazing thing about this, there you go. It looks gold, but it is actually kind of almost a matte black. I think it's just the lighting in here. I'll do a little swatch underneath this post. So you've got that. And then the best thing is if you take a really nice black coal, um, line inside your eye and then get a really really thick mascara maybe a Dior show um, or potentially in a Clinique high impact and really curl your eyelashes put it on top and bottom and really make your eyes stop I mean this would actually work out really well as a coal as well so I can show you how dramatic it can look so literally just take your inner eye line and colour it in And it's self-sharpening, by the way. So as you obviously as you use it, so line your eye line and then close your eyes and wiggle it round. So wiggle your eye line line round and then keep blinking and you'll smudge it all around your inner eye line to begin with. And then you can just pull your finger underneath and really smudge the bits that have kind of fallen just a little bit. And then you've got a really nice, intense, especially if you've got blue or kind of greeny grey eyes like mine. You can see, really just, especially that black eye line makes it really pop. Imagine then if I was to curl my eyelashes, put a bit of mascara on. It would be the perfect thing for an evening out when you've been tanned, especially with a little bit more of this on, obviously. Bit of hair, and you're good to go for an evening out. After you've been on the beach all day. So yeah, absolutely 
go go out and try this uh, Guerlain range. I mean, it's not it's not cheap. I'll put the prices below this post. Um, but you're not going to buy a lot of it. You're you're going to buy one of these every year or so, and then you're going to you buy one of these every two years because the likelihood of you using it a lot is actually quite slim. You've got a big palette of it. You're only using it a bit on your body, maybe a tiny bit on your shins to make them look a little skinny, and then a little mirror. And that's all you need. So yeah, go and check it out. I'll put all the stockish details below this post on the PT button. Um, so yeah, check it out. See what you think. It's definitely worth a try. Bye.